Hi and welcome back. Now we've finished building our own home tiki bar, the Curse of Piranha, we are now going out as the tiki detectives to go and check out some of the other tiki bars within the UK and beyond. Starting in January this year with Lackey Kane in London. We went at about half past five, six o'clock at night and that's generally the time we'll be going to do these reviews when the bars are not so busy and we can really appreciate what's going on. Here's the list of criteria that we evaluate each of the bars against, there's 10 in total. So at the end of this video we will sum up where we got to with our scores. Now Lackey Cane by their own admission is not a pure tiki bar and it is probably more what you'd call tropical downstairs certainly with upstairs more focused on tiki. The music they play varies across the week and the night we went it was afro beats but there is live music and dancing and entertainment across the weekends. So although the music wasn't Martin Denny and other stuff that we more closely associate with tiki it was certainly really relaxing and fitted the ambience so we gave it a 6 out of 10 on this occasion. We both thought that the decor at Lackey Kane had been really carefully put together and although it was reflective more of world travel and exotica rather than pure tiki again, it felt like it was really cohesive, it was warm and it was cosy. I loved how these giant drum tables had been brought into the decor along with some of the more traditional tiki style stuff that you'd expect to see such as carvings, tiki mugs, tropical plants and ceiling decorations. There was plenty of bamboo and we both thought that the lighting was really soft, well thought out and gave the bar a really nice warm atmosphere. Check out these three wall masks, they look really beautiful lit from above. And look at this cosy corner seat, we thought it would be the perfect place to sit with a couple of friends and enjoy cocktails together. There was lots of seating across the entire bar and there is further capacity upstairs for private events but we really liked the layout and with the bar right at the very back we thought it made a really nice focal point. So we rated the decor 7 out of 10 on that basis. We definitely really loved these carvings that were sculpted into the pillars around the bar. I really appreciate when the decor of a tiki bar or a tropical bar follows into the bathroom. There's nothing more disappointing than walking into a bright white plain bathroom. So it was seven out of 10 for this one. Back downstairs now and having a look at the menu, there are four drinks available on the happy hour menu, which is available from Monday to Thursday where those drinks are available for 10 pounds. It is worth saying that Lackey Kane are not messing around when it comes to their cocktails. This is serious business and you can tell from the complexity of these drinks and the thought that's gone into their presentation. The cocktails have been grouped together by theme and there was a huge variety available depending on whether you were after something gentle and fruity right the way down to some of the more hardcore drinks such as the zombie. There was a good mix of some of the more traditional named cocktails from the world of tiki, as well as their own concoctions, for example, their signature Lucky Cane cocktail, which we tried a little bit later on in the evening. Plenty of sharers, plenty of shots, plenty of non-alcoholic cocktails were also available. We were a little bit surprised to see that the Mai Tai had been tucked away at the back. It wasn't illustrated and it was uh, the first cocktail that we wanted to try. We noticed as well that the orange flavours had been doubled up with Curacao and Cointreau, so we couldn't wait to taste it. The price of the cocktails on the main menu varied from between 13 and up to 17 pounds. Now, we live in a city where it costs over 9, 10, 11 pounds occasionally to just have a large glass of wine. And I think we're all comfortable saying that opening a bottle of wine and pouring a glass from it takes nowhere near the skill level that it does to put together a beautifully balanced tiki cocktail with a whole array of tropical and alcoholic ingredients. We would have maybe liked to have seen some more options on the happy hour menu so that it didn't feel like a decision had to be made between variety or value for money. So we rated costs for food and drink a 6 out of 10, although we would say that there was a free drink brought to both of us, which is another perk of going midweek. And Lackey Cane does offer bottomless options and other drinks packages across the week, which we'd be keen to come back and try at some point. Let me tell you a little bit more about Lackey Cane whilst our Mai Tais were being made. 
So it's in Upper Street in Islington and the opening hours are from 5 o'clock until half past 12 Monday to Wednesday, half past 1 on a Thursday. And then on a Friday and Saturday it's open from 2pm till half past 2 in the morning and then 2pm until 1.30 on a Sunday. The nearest tube stations are Angel or Highbury in Islington depending which side you're coming from. They run different events across the week, so Monday to Thursday is Happy Hour and Afro Beats and Reggae Music. Bottomless options are available on Fridays and Sundays, and then party nights are Fridays and Saturdays. I'll tell you a little bit more about what Lucky Kane have to offer upstairs in just a minute, but in the meantime, let's enjoy these Mai Tais. With three different rums and two different orange profiles in the drink, as well as the familiarity of those herby notes from the Orgeot, what was there not to love? They were absolutely delicious. And the temptation was to order another one, but we knew we had to try a few different things on the menu that night. Also check out these straws, they're made of pasta. Uh, really good for the sustainability and making sure that they don't end up at Upper Turtle's nose. It was also really good to see that water was brought to the table as standard, we didn't have to ask for it. Sitting with our Mai Tais in our hands and taking in the atmosphere of the bar, we gave the vibe 8 out of 10. Moving to the upstairs space now, you can see that the decor definitely becomes a lot more what we'd associate with Tiki very quickly in the upstairs area. It was beautiful, dark and moody. It's where Lucky Kane run their private events and they run four in particular, meaning that Lucky Kane is not just a place where you can go and enjoy drinks and food with your friends, but also somewhere where you can participate in some team building, hen stag parties and so on, making this place really sustainable aside from being a bar. So we gave it 10 out of 10 for sustainability. Probably the most unique experience that Lackey Kane offer is the rum making course which at £85 each or £145 per couple is great value for money. You get to take a bottle of rum that you've made and a goodie bag away with you too. They also offer a cocktail masterclass at between £60 to £90 per couple, rum tasting and cocktail sharing at £40 per couple and a couple's cocktail making class for £70 per couple offering lots of different options as to whether you'd rather sit and make or sit and drink your cocktails. Be sure to have a look on their website for up-to-date prices and options for the courses that they do run as they will be subject to change. Something that's really important to us is being able to take away a mug or merchandise when we go and visit a tiki bar and Lackey Kane did not disappoint. They had lots of different mugs available for sale and they were only priced at £20 each which again is really good value for money. It was so difficult to decide. You'll see which one I picked at the end though. Back downstairs now and time to talk about food. So Lucky Kane don't cook food on the premises themselves and instead they work in partnership with a neighbouring Thai restaurant to bring food to people drinking in Lucky Kane. I think this is a really good idea, particularly if you are wanting to focus more on getting that really good quality of drinks instead of trying to feed and serve at the same time. We didn't eat there but we did have a good look through the menu and we were really surprised at the variety that was available. So we gave it a 7 out of 10 just asterisks to the fact that that was based on what we could see and what we tried. It was back to the cocktail menu for us and the next drink we tried was the Lacquey Cane, the signature drink at £14 which contained fresh sugar cane as well as some really tropical fruit and a coconut water base. The drink was very refreshing, it was light, it wasn't particularly strong on an alcohol profile particularly compared to the Mai Tai so definitely one for those people who like a lighter drink. We then moved on to a cocktail that had caught my eye when we first looked through the menu and that was the pin-up zombie and what a delicious combination it was. Not only did it come over to our table and was flambéed in front of us, uh, but it combined really unusual flavours including cherry, pine and falernum on top of layers of three or four different rums, Bacardi, Ray and Nephew and Plantation rums. There was uh, an ice cream cone placed on the top of the cocktail, which is where that um, flaming rum is poured into. And there was something inside that, I think it might have been the cherry, which caramelised and was just delicious just to eat alongside the cocktail itself once it had cooled down enough. It was an absolutely delicious cocktail, definitely my favourite. 
We gave service 10 out of 10 and the drinks 10 out of 10 and they were well deserved. It was an incredible night and that totaled 80 out of 100 for Lacquer Cane on the evening that we went. We had a great time. I picked up the zombie pin-up mug, which now sits in my collection of mugs back at the Cursed Piranha. That's it for now, so join us next month where we're going somewhere a little bit further afield. Please like, comment and subscribe, and don't forget to check out Lacquer Cane if you're in or around London. They've also got a book out which was written by one of their owners, Georgie. It's a really good read, well recommended, so check it out if you can. Thanks for your time and I will see you next time.